Star Wars fans, and welcome to episode two of Star Wars Go Figure. Uh, this is my Attack of the Clones, I guess. Uh, I just really hope that my episode two is good. <laughs> a kid, I, I really do like Attack of the Clones. It's just, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Anyway, my name is Jesse Collins, and today is the 18th of August, 2018. It is a Saturday, it's kind of terrible weather, and then it's sunny for five minutes, and then it's raining again, so... Um, yeah, so I put out my first episode last week, and I'm just completely blown away with the amount of positive feedback I've been able to get. Um, a great reception from everyone. Everyone's been extremely supportive, and that's... It really did make my week. Um, finally got... I was finally able to submit it to iTunes, so that's now available in iTunes, and if you're listening through iTunes, obviously you're there. <laughs> um, which is, which is awesome, because there was a bit of trouble with that getting that going last week um, on iTunes' end. Um, but they seem to have everything fixed now. Um, there was a few little headaches trying to get all the images the right size and all that because uh, they want everything pretty perfect to be able to be hosted on their platforms, obviously. Um, but yeah, like I said, had some fantastic uh, feedback last week. Had a chat with uh, Victoria from Victoria's Cantina. She also does the uh, Cantina Chatter podcast. Um, she gave me some extensive and absolutely incredibly valuable uh, feedback, some of which I'll be absolutely taking on board for this episode. So um, just those little things that can help me improve are fantastic. And uh, I was very excited that both Wit and Steve uh, Flyguy, the guys that I, you know, kind of grew up, list of, grew up, I listened to Boring Conversation anyway. Um, they they both watched it and gave me some feedback. And uh, yeah, it was, I was really, really happy to you know, have them be able to watch watch my first episode and and uh, yeah, give me their give me their thumbs up basically. Um, yeah, this show will still be going out on YouTube. I've uh, worked out can up the definition of my video here so that'll be a little bit better quality. So you can look at me in HD now. That's exciting, isn't it? Um, and yeah, it'll still be hosted on Podbean, which is the main sort of hosting server I'm using. Um, so it's all it's all going well. And I wasn't planning on doing an episode today, but we just had the first little trailer for Resistance hit on uh, Disney's YouTube channel and uh, Disney's social media platforms. Um, so that was pretty exciting to wake up to this morning. And uh, yeah, it begins airing on October the 7th on the Disney channel at, at a very odd time of 10 p.m. So I'm not sure what the go is for that. Uh, that is Disney Channel in the US. Uh, I'm not sure about anywhere else around the world at this stage. Um, Chances are I will have to find other means to watch it because we just don't get those sort of uh, channels and platforms and stuff like that over here in Australia. Um, and I'm not sure how it works in the UK. So if you can provide, if you're in the UK, and you can provide me with some lollies. That that'd be fantastic. Yeah. So we got a minute long trailer. Um, no real insight into any of the new characters. Uh, some familiar faces. We saw Poe. Um, we know that uh, Oscar Isaac's returning to. Uh, play sort of a smaller role as Poe Dameron in Resistance. Gwendolyn Christie's coming back to voice Captain Phasma, so we assume that she's going to be a major major villain or character in it. I'm not sure. BB-8, obviously. And um, I believe we just had word that uh, Princess Leia will also have some time in the series as well, um, which which will be cool. Um so like I said, a minute trailer, um, it went by really quickly, um, there's a lot of things happening, and I don't know, I felt like I just, on first couple of viewings, I felt like I wanted more, um, reminded me of sort of an old 80s or 90s cartoon sort of that I used to grow up watching, uh, it's definitely got a little bit of an anime vibe, which they said they were going to go with early, one thing that stood out to me is the colours and the lighting, I think they were, they look really nice, I'm looking forward to seeing, just looking forward to seeing a bit more, you know, there's... It's a whole new era we're going into, and uh, yeah, it's it's copying a little bit of slack already online. I'm noticing there's a lot of comments, people saying they're not into the animation, um, they're not into any of the characters, and well, for starters, we don't really know any of the characters yet, so it's kind of hard to make those judgments. And if uh, if we only look back ten years ago when Clone Wars came out, and we found out that Anakin had a paddle on, and it was you know. No one liked Ahsoka back then, and now she's one of the most loved characters in in Star Wars in general. Um, so I think it's really important that we just let it let it happen, give it some time, let the stories develop, and then we then we cast, cast in criticisms or judgments on the show. So 
Now, what I've done is I've I've taken I've taken about twenty screenshots, nineteen or twenty screenshots of the trailer, and I've put them on my Facebook page. So if you go to uh, facebook.com forward slash the forces with Jesse, um, you can follow along, and uh, there's a photo album just called Resistance Trailer, and uh, if you bring that up. Uh, we've got the first slide. It's just got the title card. It says Star Wars Resistance premieres Sunday, October 7th, 10p, which I'm guessing is 10pm. Um, and then the Disney Channel logo. So, um, yeah, like I said, I've just screenshotted these from, from the trailer. And, uh, yeah, if you want to play along, absolutely fine. That's cool. So we'll just go to the first image. Now we get a picture of uh, sort of the inside of a drop ship or carrier, a resistance carrier, and we've got this new X-Wing that we've sort of seen in the, uh, we sort of saw a top-on image in the original title reveal for Star Wars Resistance, so, and it doesn't look like it's, it looks like it's a part of an X-Wing, it's not fully complete, it hasn't got the X, it's got two wings, but it's very much, res uh, very much resembles the shape of a, you know, it's got the same sort of fuselage and engines and it's a bit different. It looks cool though. It's got this green and orange look, um, and it's sort of just sitting in this sort of open bay. Looks like it's about to drop out. BB-8 standing there on the side, looking on. Um, and we have learnt the new title character's name, but I'm I'm blanking on it at this stage. Um, next slide, we get this beautiful shot of the uh, the main character of the show again. I can't remember his name. Standing there with BB-8 looking off into a moon over an ocean with another sort of crescent moon, the light on a planet. That's quite a really, it's quite a nice shot. Um, like I said, the lighting absolutely stands out. So I'm, I'm assuming that Joel Aaron is going to be involved with this heavily because um, without him, I don't think Rebels or Clone Wars could have been what it was. Um, so that looks absolutely fantastic. Moving on to the third slide, we got we got our title character here on the right, as well as a couple of uh, characters in the background that are sort of blurred out. We've got an alien here. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what alien, what kind of alien it is. I'm not sure if we've seen one of them before. Kind of looks a little bit like a Klaatu. Um, I think it's Klaatunian. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see whether there'll be any sort of carry forward characters or, you know, family ties to what we've seen, because... This is sort of 30 years past the original trilogy, 25-ish um, years after that sort of wrap-up of Rebels, which, you know, Rebels did wrap up after Return of the Jedi, so so we are quite a way on in time, so I'm very interested. Um, I kind of thought this show might go go around Jason Sindola. They sort of teased that at the end of the Rebels um, series, so... We will see if he makes an appearance. But uh, yeah, next slide. We've just got a little shot of BB-8 looking looking adorable as always. Um, so BB-8 is going to be a major player in this, I think, by by the looks of it. Um, third, third, uh, next shot. We've got this sort of out over an ocean. We've got this sort of big. Reminds me of an oil rig, but sort of a platform. I'm wondering if this is sort of. A resistance base um, where they're all hanging out where well, this is where they're hiding at the moment not sure um, and we've got these sort of these ships in flight over the ocean and the light streaking out from behind the engines it looks fantastic next one we've got people chanting cheering um, as the x-wing or this ship I'm, I'm just gonna call it an x-wing I know it's probably not an x-wing but I'm just gonna call it an x-wing um, sort of flying through a ring it looks like a race is going on and there's a big uh, view screen in the air, sort of like a big projector in the air, um, which is obviously projecting, like it's a race or something, I'm not sure. Um, there's a couple of aliens in the foreground here that are sort of cheering it on. Next shot, we've got a screenshot of uh, Poe Dameron here in his flight suit. Close-up shot of Poe. Um, I think it translates reasonably well into this anime's style. It looks, it looks pretty good. Um, so moving on again. Here we've got a group of group of aliens. Um, now we've got this alien that I spoke of before that he could be a Clartoonian, um, which is like some of Jabba's goons in Return of the Jedi. Um, we've got an alien next to him, a female alien. She's now she 
is the same species. I'm not sure if she's a Zabrak, um, but she's the same species as is it Sugi in the Clone Wars. She was a bounty hunter, um, I think. And then we've got a human here on the right, and just behind him we've got what looks to be a Rodian with a double chin. <laughs> that looks hilarious. He's a he's a bit on the plump side for a Rodian. Um, so that's interesting. I like, I like like I said, I like the colours. Um, I like the diversity with the aliens. I think that's really cool. I always like more seeing more aliens. Um, yeah, this just brings a little bit more interestingness. Interestingness than uh, just humans. And now we've got a shot of the new character. I should have found out his name. This is going to frustrate the crap out of me. But he's following Poe and BB-8 through what looks like to be uh, sort of an assembly area, a docking area for things. There's like shipping containers and crates and stuff on the left with some people sort of unloading um, but yeah look at I just like the shadows on this picture a lot um, if you're looking at the image just some of the shadows of the buildings in the background um, it just looks really good and the colors they just really really nice they translate really well I, I, I'm into it I'm into it and now we get another shot here of our main character following Poe still um, it's obviously from another angle Poe's wearing his sort of resistance jacket that we see him wearing at the start of Force Awakens um, that Finn later adopts in The Last Jedi and at the end of TFA. Um, so next shot, we've got this character who's... He's got dreadlocks and a bit of a dreadlocky beard. Um, he does a little bit of talking over it. Um, he's wearing a sort of orange orange jacket. Um, yeah, <laughs> nice sunrise behind him again. We're looking at some beautiful colours really nice shady, like shadows on his face with some lights highlighting some areas of his face. I think that looks re really good. Um, now I've got a terrible screenshot here. It's of that sort of Clartoonian alien that I speculated on before. Pointing his finger, but he's got his eye closed. And just to the right, there is a little flag or something on the wall, or an image on the wall, which is the Death Watch symbol, I think. Um, someone pointed out that that's looks like Death Watch, but it's got a little face on it. <laughs> So Death Watch is the uh, Mandalorian sort of clan from the Clone Wars era. Now, next shot we see a cut these two ships, um, calling it the X-wing, and another ship tailing in front of it or on top of it. Smoke pouring out the back. The engines look like they're burning up. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but it looks cool. And two ships from another angle. Um, I think this was actually before that shot. And both of the engine, both of the vehicles have engines. One of the are working fine. Um, one of them's got a little bit of an a wingish look to it. I don't know. It's it's hard to say what it looks like because it's it's new and it's different. Um, it's got bright orange and white accents on it. It looks really cool. But uh, yeah, next one. Now we've got a female. Um, alien of the same species as Unkar Plat from uh, The Force Awakens, the uh, junk trader. Um, she says something in the trailer, I can't remember what she says, um, but she's wearing like goggles and a hat, so we're going to see more, another one of these aliens, which is cool. Um, and just in the background, just in the dark, we've got a Gotol, which is those sort of goat like aliens. They've got the horns, um, they're one of them in the Mos Eisley Cantina and A New Hope. Um, and we did have a few of them throughout the Clone War series as well. So that's cool. We're getting some more crossover aliens. I wish they did that in the sequel trilogy a little bit more. Um, but uh, never mind. Last one here. We've got a Stormtrooper. I think this is the last one. Uh, Stormtrooper. I'm trying to decide whether it's a gold Stormtrooper or whether it's just lit up that way. Um, it's not Phasma because you can see the curve in the helmet. But it looks like a really cool shot. Again, the lighting and the colours look so good. Um, and there's a little segment. I almost got the screenshot. I couldn't quite get the screenshot of uh, the Stormtrooper letting off a blast. And the Stormtrooper itself like, lights up a little bit blue from the reflection of the uh, laser bolt. And again, we get this X-Wing flying over the ocean, kicking up some water. And the next image is BB-8 um, standing among a couple of humans. Um, with the shadows sort of projecting towards the towards the camera there, which is cool. And that's it. That's that's all the uh, images I've got there. So 
it's interesting. I'm really looking forward to seeing more. Um, I'm not. Sure, I'm not going to make judgment because I'm not entirely sold on the animation style. I think the colors look great. Um, but yeah, I'm just sorry. I'm just checking out my show notes here, and uh, yeah, I just I, I'm really interested to learn more and see more. So I'm digging what I see now. Um, again, it's a bit different to Clone Wars and Rebels, which was sort of 3D animated. All right, so. Uh, talk about some stuff I got this week um um I usually post everything I get like when I make when I buy Star Wars stuff I usually post it on Instagram so you can play along at home um this week was uh all about Infinity War Infinity War came out in stores on Monday um it wasn't meant to be released till Wednesday but we got it on Monday so yeah that was good I watched that over a couple of nights it was so good to see that again but uh Monday in the Mail, I got the figure arts, the SH figure arts, Luke Jedi Exile figure. And uh, I dropped a review of it on my YouTube channel. So if you're on YouTube, you can scroll back and have a look at that after this. And uh, yeah, really impressed with that figure. It's really, really, really good. And uh, I've got the Last Jedi Ray coming next week. So I'm looking forward to getting that one. It should be here next week. Um, yeah, re- really looking forward to that one. But I'm looking forward to this Luke. Um, crate figure that's coming out and I did share a story on my Instagram of that figure that's co- that was announced at San Diego Comic Con I think so that one will be out soon too I'm looking forward to that one I also got a couple of the Solo 2 packs um, they're both really good packs um, they're not going to come out here in Australia I don't think um, we haven't got them yet there's no signs of any of the old stuff moving off the shelves so it's very doubtful that we're going to get these two packs but one was Han and Chewie in their muddy Minban um, in their prison scene where they're escaping the prison and they're fighting and you know Chewie's the beast and Han gets thrown in there. They're cool figures. I'm going to replace the little plastic chains on their feet with some metal chains. I'm going to go down to um, Spotlight, which is a bit of a crafty craft store and homewares and stuff like that, and they've got all. Um, they've got all craft bits for jewellery making and stuff so I'm going to go find some little bronze chains and get that one and the other two pack was Re- Rebolt and a Karelian Hound which comes with some really cool accessories it comes with the little dog cage um, for the Karelian Hound and the Karelian Hound's a sweet little figure too um, again he comes on with a chain on like a lead for Rebolt to, to handle so um, yeah I'm going to get swap that out for some proper chain make it look cooler um, and I also got Kaithra Nali. Um, he's that sort of elusive rebel pilot that sort of came out in a wave and didn't come out in a wave at the same time. I'm not sure what the story with the release of that figure was. He was meant to come out with the Flame Trooper. And I can't remember. I think it was just those two. But they never really hit anywhere. And they sort of float around online. But I was lucky enough to be able to grab one of them on eBay as well with those from the same seller as those two solo packs. And it's a cool figure too. Um, just some other toy news while I'm going. Um, Zuckus from the Black Series, 6-inch Zuckus, which was originally going to be a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, and since Toys R Us have pretty much all closed down except for Canada, they're still going strong, which is fantastic to hear. Um, he's been moved to a Disney Store exclusive and uh, went out for pre-order on RobotKingdom.com, which uh, are a seller based in Hong Kong. I use them, I've been using them a lot. They get a lot of stuff quite early. And uh, obviously they don't have to be shipped all the way to the States to then be distributed from other people. So they're basically coming straight out of the factory. Um, so I've put my pre-order in for Zuckers. Um, they put up pre-orders for Val, L337 and the Imperial Patrol Trooper from Solo. All those pre-orders are sold out already, so there's no chance there. But if you're quick, you can probably jump on that Zuckers. Um, shipping stings a little bit um, to get down here in Australia, but there's no other way we're going to get it. So I'm just going to pay the price, whatever and uh yeah also on my instagram i posted last weekend we went and bought some plants i don't know we were turning into a garden show um so bunnings here in australia is a massive uh sort of garden home store uh big big chain of warehouses um they recently put out a few months ago some star wars pots that were made out of resin and we got a darth vader head uh boba fett head and two stormtroopers we finally bought some plants for them and I put a picture up on Instagram and and on my Facebook page, um, so definitely check them out because they were quite cool. And uh, 
yeah, looking forward to. We've got these sort of um, crawlers that are going to grow out of the stormtrooper head, and they're going to come around and look like the stormtroopers have green dreadlocks, and that's going to be the little eighties hair metal stormtroopers. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that was quite cool. Um, so we're very excited to get them planted out and uh, set up in the backyard. And it made, it made a cool photo. So, yeah, that, that's almost all I've got got for today, guys. So that, that's taken me just over 20 minutes, um, which, I think is, which I think is long enough for me to talk on my own and for you all to listen to me talking on my own. Um, you can find me online at Instagram at The Forces With Jesse on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash The Forces With Jesse. Subscribe to me on YouTube dot com forward slash the forces with jesse on the same everywhere um i'm now on itunes like i said so that's very exciting so drop a review give it five stars you know you want to um and i'll I'm not as i said in my first episode i've got no sort of plan to when i'm going to drop episodes um got no sort of structure or anything sort of going at the moment i'm hoping my next episode i'll be able to have a guest on um really looking forward to teeing that up hopefully in the next couple of weeks um but yeah, everything I'll be posting out through social media platforms and stuff, like I said before. Um, so you'll be aware as soon as a new episode drops, that's where it'll be. But um, on that, thank you very much again for everyone for listening and for giving me feedback and liking the videos and commenting and all that sort of stuff. That It, it makes my day and it makes it worth doing this. Um, I'm having a blast with it. I'm having a good time chatting with everyone about it too. Got some friends that aren't Star Wars fans that are still showing interest and in asking me how it's all going, even though they're not going to listen, which is cool. They don't have to listen, but <laughs> they, um, it, it's, it is just really humbling. It is really, really humbling. So it's exciting times. And uh, yeah, like I said, thank you very much for listening. Until my next episode, may the Force be with you always.